The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 66, NASDAQ up 22, S&P's up 3.5. Gold's up 490, 470, at trading at 1500 flat. You get silver up uh, 16 cents. That is a bid. Uh, $17.74 an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $56.07 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year up by four ticks, 130. 30 year up nine at 160.12. And king dollar. King dollar up uh, down 49 ticks trading. No, where are you? Up 109 ticks trading, 97.600. The euro, excuse me, folks, the euro is at 111. The yen is at 108 and a half, and the pound is at 128 to one U.S. dollar. And uh, these, they have the market's having a hard time with these highs, and that's with you know Microsoft came out with some great numbers. They sure did. Looks um, like some of those numbers were pretty much already factored into the equity, right? There's no doubt. You know, I mean, that baby uh, got to 140 this morning or at 139, which is you know it's still high in consolidation, but. Uh, to put, just leave it up there for more. Yeah. I know that's fine. Uh, so it's up a buck eighty-five. The expected move was almost five dollars yesterday for premium. Okay. So they seem to the headlines are crushed in on almost every metric. Right. Right. And they're only up two bucks. So the volatility was priced in, and that's a move either way, right? Yes. But they were pricing in that depending on whether they beat or they missed, it was about five dollars, give or take. It was a little bit less at one point, but it moves throughout the day yesterday. Microsoft crushes it, man, and um, they're only up about two bucks. Right. But and even last night when they came out with the numbers, I, I stayed here, I was watching it. Yes. It was only up a dollar, 10 and down a dollar. Let's That's, take a know, look. And so, as we'll get back to Twitter. That's a yeah. different story. Boy, oh boy. Um, just to see how high it made it. Right. And it was a brief moment. I mean, you know, yeah. So what is this bar? Let's see how high and low we go. We got a high there. Of 139.58 and a low of 134 flat as it kind of just really tried to find a spot on a 15 minute basis and then you just saw it basically flat. Yeah, now I know. It yeah. was surprising. Yeah. Um, and then Twitter, TWTR. Oh boy. This, 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 the this, woes continue at Twitter. Yeah, this is uh, quite a gap down. I mean, look at this thing. It's so uh, we're down six and a half, six dollars and seventy six cents. Also known as almost 20 percent. Boom. And you're going right after the lower end of the consolidation. Yeah. And that's quite a move, man. Look at that thing. So we get the lower end is laying out there at uh, 26. You're at 32. So what do these guys have to say? Well, revenue miss, right? Okay. So yep. it's going to be earnings as well, I think. So let's see. Fourth quarter revenue. Oh, this is, they're seeing their fourth quarter revenue, 940. To a billion, the estimate had been 1.06 with a range of 1.01 to 1.1. They see fourth quarter income of 130 to 170 million. Uh, getting into where they are. Let's see. Third quarter, they came in with adjusted EBITDA 262.8 minus 11% year on year, and the estimate was 303. That's a big miss, man. That's a big miss. Yeah. Um, and even third quarter revenue, 823, estimate was 875. I mean, mammoth numbers. You're talking about a $50 million miss when you're only supposed to make it, uh, come in at 875. You know, that would, that would be like, you know, some of these mammoth companies like Amazon, if they're supposed to make, you know, 87 billion, they only make 82, take in 82, you'd be like, oh my God, they missed by 5 billion. Well, guess what? When you're only supposed to take in 875 million in revenue, right. you only take in 825. That's a huge miss. And we're talking Amazon. Amazon's going to come out after the close today. So right now you're trading at that 1767. It's going to get interesting, man, because this to me, this this high volume low is sticking out like a sore thumb, which is a 1672. I guess we'll just depend on what Bezos has to say about uh, taking over the world. Yeah, uh, <laughs> or how much he's spent this quarter. You know what sure, I'm saying? for the earnings for sure. Right. Um, and let's just see what the expected move is. We'll go over to that analyze tab. We'll pull up Amazon. Whoops, A M Z N. Staying in the den, maybe 62 bucks. Uh, where are we? 
There it is. 62 bucks. 62.18. The expected Either one day way. move on okay. there. So that would pretty much be saying that, you know, at the money calls, at the money puts, cost you about 31 bucks on each side. Well, wow, it's $1,767, no, man. Right. Another way to say that, if the stock was trading at 176 they'd be looking for $6 a movement. Doesn't right. sound as magnificent, right? Right. If the stock was trading at $17, they'd only be looking for $0.62 cents of movement. Right. It kind of puts things in perspective, but yeah. And, you know, gold, let's go to silver first. Gold and silver's caught a bit here. Let's go. SIZ9. It looks like silver. I'd like to yeah. really see that. We got a lot going on today, we man. Do. Was it consumer durable goods coming out? We had, uh, of course, ECB decision. Yeah. We got Draghi with his last press conference right. at 830, which is probably wrapped up by now. Yeah, this is a good move on silver. So it started right off the bat, too. Yeah, it's a, it's a good move. It's got to get over the highs of, uh, what day is today, Thursday? Uh, yes, it is. It's got to get over the highs of Monday, then. So that's 17.89 inside the gold market. That was moving right along with it. Yeah, it's sticking its head up. That's good. Finally sticking its head up. Let's see if it can. So, well, oh, this is good. 15, well, 15.03. Not the 15.04. I'd love to see it stick its head up at the, over 15.04. Three. It's not a bad setup. And then if we go over to the dollar, and the the dollar was moving on draggy. You know what I mean? I'm sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you know, first it was down. Now you got it up 108 ticks. Yeah. Quite a little thrust lower at about 3 a.m. as well. Yeah. Interesting. Then yeah. spikes all the way back. And yeah. in context, man, not that big of a move, right? 97.3 the bottom. 97.5 right. kind of this range up right. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's still still hanging, basically at those lows from when it came down a week and a half ago. Uh, the S&Ps, this is, you know, you're right at those highs, and it just gave it up again. Uh, it's having a tough time up at these highs. Yeah, we just dropped 15 points. Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know, you had some good numbers come in. Um, so Definitely. you got to be aware of that. And, I mean, you know, let's see. Is that... We haven't even gotten into Tesla yet. They crushed oh, uh, the park as well. Oh, something else. Yeah. Let's go to Tesla, man. That... <laughs> One more time. Oh, my God. I wouldn't want to be... One of those shots. You get a nice Tesla short right squeeze now. going on again. Oh my God! Look at that. So you get a twenty-five percent. One out of every four shares a shot. Thirty-six million shares short. Right. You're up forty bucks. Oof. That is Tense. for every ten bucks, three hundred and sixty million. So you're talking about one point three. One. What is thirty-six? One point two. Six. One point four. Almost one point five billion dollars in losses for the shorts. Yeah. Overnight. And he took in less revenue, but he. Brought money to the bottom line. That's that's the bottom. That's, well, let's see. Look, know. whose whose quarter is that? Picasso like quarter. The the fanboys are out in full force. Uh, Tesla shares surging in early trading Thursday after their electric car maker posted unexpected profit. Yeah, so that's the big difference there. They were supposed to lose money. Yeah. They make money. Buck eighty six a share in the third quarter, beating the consensus consensus estimate for a twenty four cent loss. Um, company says highly confident of reaching the lower end of its prior annual delivery forecast of 360 to 400,000 units. Uh, what happened to King Musk out there touting? Wasn't it, you know, half a million cars a year or something? Um, but nonetheless, man, that, that... And what happened is that the, his, uh, the solo, they were... The deliveries were up 48 percent. Okay. And the solo has been dead for a long time. And they might time. start pushing out some semis too, right? Tractor trailers. I saw there was something about semis in there. There was some good news. Stay right there, folks. Tom and I come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 69. Nasdaq's up 23. S&Ps are off four and a half. Let's go take a look at some of the uh, higher volume equities, and we'll find out. We got to love earnings season, man. They're going to be rocking. Oh. I think we got a quarter of the S&P this week alone. So okay. just huge week. You know? Big number. Yeah. So Tesla's the big animal out here. That's up uh, 41. You get uh, Twitter down six and a half. PayPal's up seven. We'll have to see what's going on there. Four, not to miss number two, man. You're only an $8.60 stock, and you're down 54 cents, Ooh. man. That is a move. You know, they had their earnings as well. Why right. not? Can we just jump into it? Why yeah. not? Because they fo forecast cut. So lowering its full-year forecast may prove to be the last straw for the S&P Global Ratings, which has said it may downgrade the car maker this year. That's a big one, man. They assigned the company a negative outlook back in July, citing weakness in Ford's overseas operations and the company's ongoing restructuring. The outlook applies to a 12 to 24 month period, which could result. That's what I was waiting for. Their rating, man. Yeah. You got to pay more for debt. You're already in trouble. Right. Then your debt, you know, management fees are going. Totally. Um, it's how do you, it's kind of a self fulfilling prophecy when you're already in trouble. And then they're saying they're going to charge you more for debt. Well, how right. do you get out of that problem if you're already in trouble? Uh, a one notch downgrade, one of the analysts said, would likely leave Ford one level above junk. junk. Yeah. Now, watch this. This is. Just the other side of that, this is a powerhouse. O'Reilly Automotive. Okay. When is Amazon going to start selling automotive parts? It's... I bet there's got to be an Amazon executive today saying, how are they eating our lunch in parts? And, and folks, they, when we look at the numbers here, they, they run on 50% margins. <laughs> and, yep. Don't tell Bezos that. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> man. It blows my mind. But yeah. when you take a look at this... Chart and just the, the, I mean, it's it's just a powerhouse. So, it, we've talked about it many times, right? We've had this exact conversation many times, Look saying, at this. you know, this seems I mean, like something that that should be ripe for. Oh yeah, a, a company like Amazon, right. where they're interchangeable parts. It's not like clothing; you have to go try it on. Why aren't they selling? But nonetheless, man, they got some uh, the C-suite execs over at O'Reilly. They're getting it done. I'm telling you. So th those are the numbers there somewhere. Look, <laughs> look, just how gross profit margin, 52.7 to 53. You're talking about software numbers here, man. Yeah. That is just amazing, isn't it? That sure is, man. And, you know, you're talking Fiscal about... Fiscal year revenue of 
ten billion right. dollars. And you're talking that's about ten. That's eleven digits. That's that's a that's a one followed by ten zeros. <laughs> and the thing that's amazing is that you're talking about cars that we use every single day. So yeah. you need, always. They're always wearing down. You're They're going to have repetitive pots. business, right? Right. And, and uh, they got comp sales, man. Just huge. Three to five percent. Just huge. Yeah. Really is amazing. It is, man. I think I saw, what are they, 30-something billion dollar company? 32 billion, was it? 32 billion dollar company. Not bad. Monster number. And who's the chairman? David O'Reilly. Why not? O'Reilly Automotive. Oh, look at that. That's <laughs> right? pretty cool. It is. Yeah. I never realized I didn't either until that. That, yeah. that is intense. Yep. That, wow. Let's see when they, uh, when they first came. What was their issue? 93, 95, 99, 17, 17 bucks. And even look, you go back to 99, you're talking about 37 bucks. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive, man. And look who pushed it out, DLJ. I know. It's great pulling up some of these old. Uh, Isn't it? Yeah. Because DLJ's not around anymore, I don't think right? so. I don't think so. Yeah. That's they, what, they were big. We just had, uh, who pushed out Amazon? Was it was it Deutsche? Yeah, it was Deutsche Bank. Was yeah. it? How did yeah. they land that one, right? right. Well, they well, land. That's, that's when Deutsche Bank was a monster. And that's when Amazon wasn't. Yeah. Right. That's right. when Amazon right. was right. Uh, a dot com bubble bookseller. Yeah. yeah, Deutsche Bank in ninety seven. Right. Yeah. yeah. Pretty wild, man. Definitely. So uh how about we jump to natural gas? Can we take oh, a yeah. look? Yeah, totally. It's ten twenty three and uh let's see, we may have to refresh this to get all the full contracts, but there's your euro while we jump across ticking lower. Look at gold ticking higher at fifteen oh three. But we'll pull it up. We got natural gas numbers at ten thirty. We'll have to get in there and take a guess at the whisper number on the Bloomberg terminal. You already got one trophy up there for your natural gas uh, forecasting abilities. 229 in natural gas we're looking for. Um, excuse me, is the indicative we're trading at right now. So not bad as in it's sitting right up against 230, which is nice. Now it is happening. I've, I've had this up since uh, like around 8 in the morning. Right. So we don't have the contracts. But let's just see for a daily real quick to line this up. Let's say you want to go until 230. All right, we have the contracts right here. We're trading at 229, call it 229.7, okay, because yeah. we're trading at 229.69. Here's going to be your bullish spread. You got exposure from 230 all the way up to 280. Realistically, that's almost unlimited because you can't get 50, sure. 50 cents. Um, right. So that's costing you about $16, and realistically, not realistically, all of that being premium because we're just under that level. Now, the bearish spread is going to be that plus a little bit of intrinsic value, a few ticks of intrinsic value. So the bearish spread, you'd be selling that. You're looking at about thirty-six dollars, or or three point six pennies away, away from two thirty. Away from two thirty. Okay. And not bad when you got four hours. Yeah. You know, with the numbers about to break, let me close that out. Let's take a look at this contract. Pull up the chart. Because as we know, natural gas gets some movement, man. And talk about movement. How about crude oil? And look at that from two twenty-eight up to two thirty-two. There's your four pennies right there let alone you back this up for some volatility. I mean, just yesterday down to 226. And man, while we're jumping around, just talk about volatility, crude oil. Yesterday morning, we're trading at 53.63, I think is the low at 9 a.m. And you trade up almost $3 in 24 hours, man. And really, you can see the blip there is on the EIA number. So it was already starting the run and yeah. it just added a further fuel. But so we get the natural gas numbers in about five minutes. You want to take a look at that yeah, NG contract? NG, that's the active one. We'll yeah, it. and we might, not in, one. we might not be in time for the whisper number, I think. Uh, oh, so, no. <laughs> so I'm going to say there's going to be a build. This one's lower price. Let's see if we get the whisper. I think, whoops. I think they have to be five minutes, which is what we just crossed, unfortunately. Yeah, so I don't think we can push it in. Okay. Yeah, but 88 number, 88 um, billion cubic feet they're yeah. looking for. So you'd be looking for a higher build above 88 if you're right. looking for the number to pull back. We get that number in about a half hour from right now. Yeah, so let's see. It's crude. No, that's five days from right now. No, no, I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm just interested. Let's that's see. next week's number, uh, so right. You and... Gasoline. One second. I'm trying to figure out. Bring us with you. What are you doing? Well, down here, this is us, and we we were ranked number sixteen in one of them. Like I was, it was one twenty-seven in natural gas. Though. It's probably natural gas it. because that's the one you got a little trophy in, right? No, it was. I think it was gasoline. Was it? Okay. I think so. We'll have to look at it. They, 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 this is too funny. We'll folks. bring down your trophy to okay. show the people. It's, it's hilarious. It's this little tiny like piece of plastic. Right? You know what's funny too is, and so it and has, they sent the FedEx. Yeah, and so it has to do. With, people watch the show. You've seen us. Yeah. 
take a stab at these numbers right. if you win it outright. Right. So you sent me a picture of it, right? Yeah. On text? <laughs> right. <laughs> so he sends me a picture of it, and perspective is everything sometimes in right. pictures. And what's funny was I thought it was like a trophy this big because oh, so you just can't see sometimes. You right. know, that's why you got to, you know, right. if you take a picture of something, sometimes right. people will put a pen next to it. They'll put your hand yeah. next to it so you know what you're looking at. So when you sent it, I'm yeah. thinking it's a regular size trophy. Right. And then I see it on his desk. And, folks, it's, 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 it's about this big. Right. <laughs> but it's all for fun. So and, why not? And, and they said the federal It's trash. all for fun. I said I, it's I pretty know, cool. It is. You know, right. it is. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, down 63, Nasdaq up 27, S&Ps are uh, down 3. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Yeah. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we have the uh, Dow Industrials uh, down 90. NASDAQ is up 26. S&Ps are off 5. And natural gas. What do we got out here? Well, let's see. We'll have to pull up the number. Jumping back. Fortunately, we weren't quite. So we're trading at 2.30.03. This computer's a little slow on us right now. We'll have to jump back to the actual number. Come on, baby. Come on. Must have been a big build. It must have. That's right. No, it's going to be a draw because we're at higher prices, I believe. 
Boy, a big build indeed. Yeah, okay, we can let's, bring the let's, Bloomberg let's, up. Yeah, yeah, let's right. just, well, the Bloomberg is going to be a delayed uh, feed, but we just should have right. we should have we should have the news up there. Yeah. So 87 billion cubic feet. Yeah. Estimate was for 88. As I said, maybe a little bit of a miss. So one billion cubic feet under. Nothing too dramatic in the light of things. There's a lot more that goes in here in terms of you got uh, the total 3.61 trillion cubic feet as terms of the total stockpiles. You got it rising by 87. Let's see the, the table real quick for the breakdown. And there's where they give you the East Midwest Mountain, the full um, and there's where you're 3.6 trillion, so forth, and uh, kind of spread out, man. Midwest, yeah. South Central, yeah. Mountain Pacific, and the East. And let's just jump back to see if that chart has loaded for us. No, it's not going to cooperate, man. We're going to try and load it one more time before we jump back. Thought we already had the chart up, but we're getting a little bit of a bid right now because we're at 2.30.05, but... The contracts we were looking at were 230. We're a half penny over that. We needed three pennies. Right. Um, so yeah. pretty muted response, all things considered, yeah. as you can see. And like I said, you expect pretty close to in line of the expectation, right? As in 88 versus 87, right. nothing too surprising there. Coming into the winter, the, 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 that, the big natural gas number, though, is amazing. How much is actually in storage? The total stockpiles, yeah. Yeah, trillion. 3.6. Trillion. That's right. God. That's right. So the S and P is still, you know, backing down a bit. Nothing heavy. I mean, but you're down six points. It's pretty impressive. You can't do it. Gold hey. now is caught a real bid, folks. Okay? Dow's down a hundred now. Things are accelerating uh, a little yeah. bit. And you know, someone's buying gold, man. You know, yeah, they're selling the market and they're taking their money and they're buying gold. Yeah, evidently, you know, because you're picking your head up over this. I think it was fifteen oh four that I was looking for. Fifteen. 1503, I believe, yeah, is what you said. Yeah, I guess that's it. 1503. Yeah. Yep. 1503. Flat. That's good, man. That's, you know, you get up a little bit more, and you can basically stop making a case that, okay, you, you, you're almost close to breaking this downtrend that we've been in since, uh, what, September 4th. Sure. You know? Yeah. Uh, silver. We go take a look at silver out here. That silver market, man, is always wild. <laughs> so we're up 27 cents on silver. Yeah, it's a good move, man. Okay. Body, uh, 8,000 contracts. Now, silver, 18 bucks. Now, it's, it's still got a long way to go, but there's no doubt that that's a decent move out there. Yeah. The uh, And then 3M. Let's see, 3M, that's been taking the, the Dow south, and I suspect we'll, we'll see whether it's taking it south more. So 3M out here this morning, that's the largest mover in the Dow, down 682. Yep, they came out with their earnings 630 this morning. Disappointed. Industrial weakness forces another forecast cut. Okay. Lower earnings outlook. I'm seeing headlines. Profit forecast cut. That's a monster. So they're seeing too. fourth quarter EPS 205 to 215. Not sure what the estimate is here. Third quarter sales, here we go, $8 billion. They were looking for $817. Okay. Just, just a simple $170 million miss in 90 days on, on net sales. Um, they come in with earnings, but the, the top line is a big one, man. You can it always is. cut yourself to earnings. You can't always cut yourself to grow that revenue. These public companies, man, something else. They, meaning that it's pretty amazing what they can do, meaning grow, grow, grow. And, you know, imagine running, like, something like that. $8 billion, so forth. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. 90 days. That's, that's, that's amazing. Yes. So, uh, Bitcoin, XBT. Now, this has uh, been biting the dust lately. So, we'll see whether, you know, it did made the next leg down yesterday. Oh, boy. That was quite a leg. That sure was, 74.81. Right. Um, pretty interesting in light of that correlating to Zuckerberg being in front oh. of Congress, talking about Libra. Seriously. Man. Yeah. And, you know, the... Uh, if you heard any of that, folks, uh, a couple of the, I, I wish that someone had asked him. He kept saying uh, 
that it's risky. I wish someone asked him, what's the risk? That what is risky? Libra? That, yeah. Or, okay. Yeah, because they, they, they kept saying that, you know, like he was making, like he was taking the risk. I sure. said, what is the risk? Yeah. Well, what is the risk you're really taking? You, take, you want to take over the monetary system. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. What, what is the real risk you yeah. have here? You know what I mean? Yeah. So, the... Um, and see, this is going to be interesting with gold. So we get gold going, we get you get silver going, and the dollar basically is is still you know up 100 in ticks. Not that that's a lot, okay, but uh, it's not it's not down. That's it's true. not down, you know. And I guess the more that uh, Draghi talks uh, over there, this is is the euro is uh, that's been that's been you were trading currencies. That'd be quite a move, man. Yes. Look at that. So what? 11, 11, well, 1, 11, 54, then a 1, 11, 10. Yeah. Can we back it up? What is, because what was it at as the, on the Brexit high? Uh, is that the Brexit high? No, this is the Brexit sell-off, I believe. Yep, 2.30 when they were voting. So it made it kind of right up, right peaked. Look at, look at how that top is right there where it was. 1, 11, 51. Yeah. Yeah. So... We gotta get back to politics for a second. Not that we talk politics, but this one drives me crazy. This always drives me crazy. The VA, anyway. Well, you're a vet. You, yeah. you gotta you got a and, voice greater than most do. And this one here, folks. So check this out. So you're gonna have the veteran affair investigators fault whistleblower office created by Trump. A yet to be released Inspector General report on the office formed by uh, Trump is to protect whistleblowers in the Department of Veterans Affairs was instead used to stifle claims and retaliate against those trying to expose problems at the agency. And the VA's been screwed up forever, folks. That okay? is for sure. You know, I mean, you, know, you go back, I don't care. In my case, you go back 20, 30, 40 years, and they're always claiming they're going to fix it. Um, so this was created in 2017, mandated by uh, Congress. Um, investigators found, listen to this, man. This is These politicians, it's just amazing what they, they do on a continual basis, man. Okay, so. Well, I mean, the first, the office's first executive director, Peter O'Rourke, instead used his position to stifle claims and retaliate against the employees the new organization had been designed to protect. The people said, Mr. O'Rourke, who once directed a conservative political action committee and then consulted for the VA, leveraged his power as head of the whistleblower office to end investigations into allies. Yeah. Um, eventually rose to acting secretary of the VA before leaving the department last year. He's now executive director of the Florida Republican Party. Lucky us. I know, man. Yeah. That is just so... F they probably have, you know, these uh, inspector generals, man. <laughs> they've been busy, man. <laughs> yeah, they, they sure have. They've been busy, man. They sure have. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading uh, down 68. NASDAQ is up 25. S&Ps are up 3.5. We're coming right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. 
Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 54. NASDAQ is up 31. S&Ps are down 2. Speaking and of down. California, man, this is how, intense. How you about know? some downed electrical capabilities, man? It continues, right? So PG&E, their saga continues. Half million Californians, 178,000 homes and businesses near Sacramento, Napa Valley, and parts of San Francisco Bay Area. As they're getting windstorms, threatening to knock down power lines. So utilities in Southern California have also blacked out thousands in a widespread shutoff that could eventually affect 1.5 million people statewide. About 80 miles north of San Francisco, a fire ripped through more than 10,000 acres in Sonoma County in 10, six hours. Acres. Imagine that. Yeah, pretty remarkable. They get, they get some big problems. And check here. that out. So that is Napa. And they got grocery stores. I guess they're open, but blackouts. I wonder how that's working. If they got generators in there for the yeah. grocery stores, right? Especially because right. they can't right. use all that produce right. when they actually do. Um, so that's people, October 9th. Just that's the last yeah. one, but I'm sure right. the same thing going through. Yeah. And then people's houses with all that stuff in it, right? Oh, I mean, it gets it gets you know, especially being in Florida. Now they don't have the type of heat that we get occasionally. But when you start right. talking about this type of deal, I mean, it's not just a luxury. You no. know, that it becomes uh, people need it for health, right? What, do, oh, what yeah. if you have a, a respiratory type um, oh, illness yeah, where that, you need things? It's, it is. Right, right. And the, this is. That's huge, man. It was at 820, you're down 70 cents. You're talking about 82 cents would be 10%. So was yeah. that nine, eight, nine percent right now pulling back? And yeah. It's making its way down to that low, 507. And they got to, those regulators, that state, they got to get control, man. They do. Yeah. They do, man. They do. They can't have it both ways. That's the real bother. They, they got to get some kind of reliability to protect whatever company they're going to bring back up again. Sure. You know what I mean? And, of course, then they got to make sure that the company actually does the job, too. Very, you know? very true, but man. That's, that's, that's the kicker there. Yeah. Uh, PayPal. So let's see what's going on with PayPal here. P-A-Y. Where are you? PayPal. Let's get a pop. I mean, this is, stock's been down for a while, but... So you're up 7%, $7.40. You see there, you're at 104. Yeah, that's quite a move, huh? So you're off a high of 121. That's just this week. Look at the spread this week. Well, 94 to 106. So let's see what they have. It's quite say. a move. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, Jump says, better than feared results. It's all about expectations, Ooh. right? <laughs> so, let's see. All eyes are on the 2020 outlook. So, on the conference call, PayPal said it expects organic revenue growth in 2020 to be about 17%. Slightly missing the expectation of 18%. Um, let's see. We'll jump in. Let's see. Earnings per share topped estimates. So, they reported quarterly earnings that exceeded the estimates. 
let's see, they made earnings per share in the third quarter 61 cents. They were looking for 52. Last year it was 58 cents. They gave a forecast of 81 to 83. They were looking for 81. Yeah, and I guess they're dealing with the woes of in 2018. eBay said it was shifting away from them completely. That's pretty wild that the, that it was an eBay company. <laughs> and then spun it off, right? Yeah, and now they don't do business with them. <laughs> That's what happens when you spin it off, man. Right. You, you want shareholder. Uh, can we back, uh, yeah, I was going to say back it up just to see the 2018 split. And, and look at eBay. eBay today, they come out with numbers. They're, they're down like 9%. They're, they're, they're dealing with some woes, I imagine, man. I don't know where they quite fit into the I know. online retail spectrum this that they once, you know, pioneered. Owned, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But not a bad chart from 2009, just no, really that volatility. And you can see, actually, though, look at, and that must have been maybe when they spun it off, you know, 2018, you, you drop all the way from 45 down to 25, man. And maybe Let's that hit was. this map. One of the Tigers got the PG and E out, outage map. Oh, look at this. You know what's funny was when you when you were clicking it, I was like, is this going to be a joke where it's going to pop up and it's going to be black everywhere? As in, oh, you know, as in right. they're having it, but it's not, man. It's not at all. And there's Sacramento in the middle. And so all those little dots are black. Is that what it is, Z? I'm not sure yeah. before you, you say that. Um, but it could be. It could be. Yeah. That, okay, so now we got to bring up Genrac. <laughs> Oops, go for it. Uh, G GEN. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I don't know. Let's see. I should know the symbol by heart. But Is I don't. that what it's called? Yeah, it's Genrec. Well, hi. Okay. Let's jump around if we could. We'll, we'll pull it up at the break. Mm, okay, I'll find it. That's, uh, you're definitely going to need... Those type of sub generators yeah, out there. Yeah, I mean, if I'm in California, man, yeah, um, I'm calling that company today um, to see if we can get it done, right? Yeah, I can't find it either. Isn't that funny? Well, that, there we go. GNRC. GNRC, okay. Now they're down 31 cents, man. Yeah. It, it's been up dramatically. Well, and that's yeah, what I was just going right. to say. They, uh... They knew these were coming. It happened two weeks ago, yeah. right? Um, and you can see the run over the last two weeks from oh, 70. Let's see. It might have hit a high today. Yeah, it did. Not a bad run since yeah. June. So let's see. That's... Yeah, hit the high today. $91.84. $5.5 .5 billion company. Yeah. 5,000 employees. Look at that, man. This, I believe, this... Yeah, you got an ABC up here. Well, it's not that big one. Let me see if I put this on a put this on a weekly. So what I'm going to do here, folks, put this on a weekly and see if it's an ABC and a weekly. There it is. Now I had how you. I always. What this, kind of retracement do you need to the B to C? Because on this, these, in this, my opinion, the there's no B to C. Right. There's wait. no P to C. Well, you we know, well, eighty-four dollars to. What kind 75. of a retracement? In my opinion, I know just. Yeah. I just well, There's you, no you, retracement in this chart. It's just straight up from the beginning of 2019 almost, you know? I yeah, mean, no, you can I'm, call I'm, it, but... I understand what you're saying, but you, you can have a ABC structure up without a retracement at all. Those are the strongest ones. You just do a sideways move. Like, let's picture, let's picture that you're at 84, right? And you move sideways for like six months, six weeks, and it just takes off again. That's still, that's the strongest ABC there is. In your you know, opinion, right? Without a retracement. In your right. opinion, right? Right. Well, okay. Yeah. It's technical analysis. I mean, it's, you know. <laughs> well, I know you're saying that's the strongest one there is. Not, I mean, that's where I have two different opinions here. That's all we're saying, you know. Yeah. I don't see that as, because a B to C is, by quote, a retracement leg. So you're saying the strongest retracement leg is not a retracement that's leg. That's correct. In your opinion. Okay. That's, that's correct. Right. Because if you don't get a retracement and just get a lull, then you don't have a retracement. That That's... momentum is insane, meaning in a great way, and in, in, you know, going topside. Let's go take a look at the uh, yeah oil. So what do we have with oil? And we had that thing moving yesterday. Three it's... bucks in twenty-four hours, not bad. Oh, it's not the November contract either. No. Oh, I think it is. No, 
No. Are we on to yeah. December? Okay. The, uh, CLZ yeah, maybe? It, it moves quite a bit. CLZ. There you go. December. CLZ yeah, 9. Right there? Uh, nope. Lower. Three lower. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. $56.38. Yeah, it popped good yesterday. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 72. NASDAQ is up 30. S&Ps are off two and a half. And it looks like the first 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we get action. And then it's just laying out sideways, folks. How about we look at Amazon and we see oh, yeah. what, what are they going to take to the bottom line in 90 days, man? What are they going to take to the top line? Why yeah. not, right? Top line is always a big one, man. Revenue. $68.7 billion in 90 days. Earnings per share, $4.59. Yeah. Um, and man, oh man, this is as they come in. It'll be interesting to see what they talk about the forecast, right? Um, of course, coming into Christmas quarter, oh, always yeah. a big one. Um, I'm sure there'll be some questions on the conference call yep. about uh, that number, and it's always remarkable. We got... We got Black Friday coming up, right? What's the online Friday? Uh, what are they? Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Uh, the statistics that Amazon has. I remember they, last year they, they went at like for a couple of weeks, didn't they? 
I think you're thinking of Prime Day, where they extended oh, that's right. Prime, Prime Day, Day now is right. two days. Right. Uh, right. Right. You can't keep track of all the Amazon holidays, yeah. right? But that's how you that's how you push out 300, uh, 278 billion dollars in sales in 365 days. I mean, they're almost there, man. Next year, they're going to be almost selling a billion dollars of product every single day. Look at that. Yeah, and so I imagine with that type of growth, as long as they just continue charging on. You know, you got, look at these growth numbers, man. You're going to, all you got to grow at from 2020 to 2020 to 2021, you got to grow at about 10%. And, and they've do the math. Yeah, exactly. Right? And, and what will end up happening, particularly, I didn't see the numbers on Microsoft for their cloud, but that, everyone's going to be looking at that cloud too. Because sure. that cloud is, look at that number, man. And the margins are through the roof on oh. that cloud, which oh, is no. big time, yeah. Stay right there, folks. We got uh, TD Ameritrade Dick and Swim coming up next. And we got I'm Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, man. Wow, go get him, folks.